Hey folks, I'm Mark and welcome to the Four Boxes Diner. Your rights are in jeopardy today, especially your constitutional right to keep and bear arms. And that's why this channel is here. It's our goal with this channel to provide you with information you need and education and analysis you need to not just understand how the anti-gun movement is trying to strip you of your fundamental rights, but what steps, if any, you may be able to take to help stop that from happening. Okay? Now, you may be wondering, why did we call this channel the Four Boxes Diner? Where does the Four Boxes Diner come from? Well, you may have heard of the Four Boxes of American Liberty. And if you haven't heard, it's something you really ought to know about. Well, the Four Boxes of American Liberty are the following four boxes. There's the soap box, there's the ballot box, there's the jury box, and finally, there's the cartridge box, or sometimes referred to as the ammunition box. Now, all four of these boxes are connected to the concept of American liberty and what preserves it. Specifically, how they're all connected, and to understand how they're all connected, bear in mind that the power of the soap box is the power to inform and rally other Americans. It allows us to resist tyranny, and it, of course, stems from the notion that the soapbox is something that people would stand on in the old days and give speeches or talk to their fellow countrymen about certain issues as they stood on a soapbox, okay? Now, with this channel, I'm hoping to use the power of this soapbox to help spread the word to you and to other Americans uh, to help understand uh, how our constitutional rights are at risk and what you can do to kind of preserve them. Now, next comes the second box. That's called the ballot box, which of course is self-explanatory because ballot box is how you vote, right? We elect officials to represent the will of the people. That's we the people. And we vote out the politicians when they don't represent the will of the people, right? We the people are supposed to make that choice in a representative democracy. Now, of course, the third box is equally, cru equally crucial. That's the jury box. Well, the jury box, of course, refers to courts and the rule of law. It's the courts that can provide a line of defense against governmental actions targeting your rights and liberties. And there is a constant battle in the United States about all sorts of things, including, but not limited to, the meaning and the scope and the protections afforded by the Second Amendment's right to keep and bear arms, and of course, all about what it protects. Now, some people may wonder about the final box, the ammunition box, or the cartridge box, uh, whether or not it's necessary anymore. And of course, I think our founding fathers understood that the right to keep and bear arms is an essential component to being a full-blown citizen. It is an essential component to function as a last resort to resisting tyranny and ensuring human freedom and liberty. That's why the Founding Fathers specifically included the text of the Second Amendment in the Constitution to permanently protect the right for all Americans. Frederick Douglass in the 19th century certainly understood this too when he said that without the cartridge box and the other boxes, no class of people could live and flourish in this country. In each of the short videos that I have planned for this channel, I hope to break down the anti-gunners' maneuvers, uh, the anti-gunners' philosophies, their thoughts, their strategies, and also I'm going to analyze and critique, when appropriate, uh, people on the pro-gun or the gun rights side when I think they're making mistakes or they don't fully understand or comprehend something. Because again, bear in mind, not all threats are equally dangerous. Some threats we have to be dealt with right away. Other threats can be dealt with down the road. Uh, there's a lot of strategy and analysis that goes into figuring out what's important when. That's a big part of judgment. And I hope to help uh, the gun rights movement in the United States and the constitutional rights movement in the United States to help make decisions about uh, the direction in which to go and how to address things best to most protect our fundamental American rights. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this channel. And if uh, you do, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe and spread the word to your friends and uh, family members. And until next time, we'll see you soon at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up. Table 2A.